This is just a uh, welcoming post or house post. Yeah. It's amazingly done. For Councillor John Peters, the original Minecraft has always been a way he could connect with his son on the autism spectrum. Seeing something like um, Minecraft that incorporates uh, the teachings of um, Coquitlam First Nations is just simply amazing. I, I'm actually um, so excited that I can't wait to have my turn <laughs> uh, with my sons on this game. The Coquitlam First Nation, along with School District 43 and Microsoft, have teamed up to create a new Minecraft world called the Pacific Northwest Coast Experience. How it began was we had our STEAM teacher come to us to say we have this wonderful tool called Minecraft. Can we find a way to use that to help with Indigenous storytelling here in our territory? I thought, what a wonderful idea. And it just grew from there. I just think it's so amazing that they're just working together. As a knowledge keeper, Peter says it's a valuable tool to teach younger generations Indigenous values. A wood box is an example of one, and you can store stuff in it. Like important, yeah. like things that have meaning to you mm -hmm. in it. Yeah. And that's what we're making right now. I'm connected to these lands for thousands of years, so the bloodline I carry, I'm obligated to take care of these lands. But to have other people be aware of the importance of it, and, and how the land can give back to you. That, that's what I love about um, the concept of this game. In the classroom, Marina Meredith says it's rare to see her students so engaged and excited to learn. It's amazing the endless opportunities in there of what they can discover, what they can build, all the animals and different land features that they've included to represent the local land. It's great to learn in that way instead of just a textbook or kind of these older traditional styles. It's really fun and engaging. There were some big software changes needed to make the new world truly indigenous. What we asked them for is number one, we have to have cedar. It is the heart of the whole community here on the West Coast. And so they were gracious enough to actually rename and reskin certain trees that were in the game so that we could have cedar. We didn't have bears, we had polar bears, but not bears. And in our lower mainland, there's bears everywhere. We have to have those. The core concept of Minecraft, which is to collect and exploit the resources around you, is now turned right on its head. We're only allowed to catch one. We want to be resourceful and not waste food. The message is take only what you need and leave the rest for the others who come behind you. Traditions and technology coming together in a new way. In our history, there wasn't a lot of, there's not a lot to be proud of. Our, our nation has went through a lot. We're um, borderline hopelessness. But something like this, like I said, um, we could share for thousands of years. Cedar, bears, and salmon in the Minecraft world are just the beginning, with 10 more indigenous experiences in the works. Maurice Katz, CBC News, Coquitlam.